Hello friends and subscribers, Terry Games is back with part 3 of finally Detroit Become Human. I haven't seen you for a while, it's good to have you back. Thank you very much, it's great to be back here at Detroit Become Human, thank you very much. Oh geez, it's certainly been a long time since I've done this. I apologize for not uploading so many parts of Detroit Become Human. Uh, well, eventually, hopefully, I'll get on to all those later on. But for now, let's continue on with part three. It's great to be back. I hope you all enjoy yourselves for part three. Wondering how you all are doing today? Leave your comments in the below, how you're doing, what you're doing today. Share some love for this game. If you haven't played Detroit Become Human yet, I highly recommend you get into it. Okay. So it looks like we're continuing off with Carver where we left off last time. It looks like Todd is asleep. Oh, never mind. I should see this now. Guys, please. Parental discretion is advised. I highly recommend. Please. If you are very young, please watch this with your parents. This is not good for your own eyes to watch. Anyways, where we left off with Kara last time, we found out and learned. Take this food to everybody. We found out and learned that Alice, unfortunately, is in a tight situation with her father. She is living with an abusive father. Apparently they have some problems with mom and dad, so we're gonna develop more issues of what's going on. Hopefully we'll I find out. I did what I could. Well, let's at least serve them properly. Turn on the lights. Serve Alice and Todd. Napkin. Funny. I lost my job because of androids. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. Again, parental discretions of advised. Go out and hire a fucking android. You guys might not like this, be careful. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail, they never tired, they never sad. They're so fucking perfect, they ruined my fucking life. Oh, come on. Not the life you dreamed of, eh? D don't do this in front of your kid. Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. Oh, come on. Enough of that. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. you really scared me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking attack! Oh, come on, that's a kid, man. Enough. Oh, my God. Sorry, kids. Get back here. Come back here. Come back here right now! What a fuckhead. Fucking goof. Or I'll bust you worse than last time. 
Really, bitch? I come in there to see what y your problem is and you tell me not to fucking move? I gotta come over there and beat the fucking s s piss out of you. Hate people like you. You know what? Fuck you. I'm gonna move. Nobody tells me what to do, especially some abusive prick like you. So you know what? Kiss my ass. This little girl deserves a lot more from an abusive fuck like you. So you know what? Maybe I should be that person. Two choices. Protect Alice or reason with Todd. Reason with Todd. Protect Alice. Reason with Todd. Protect Alice. You guys obviously know what I'm doing with this. Fuck the abusive father. Let's go get that little girl and save her. She needs us. Let's go get her right now. No, I'm not going in there. Get in that little girl's room right there. Come here, Alice. He's coming. He's gonna hurt me. Oh, no, he's not. Get away, or he's gonna break you like last time. Fuck that. Let's lock the damn door. You ain't teaching nobody a lesson, boy. Not to this little girl. Let's get out of here. No harm. We'll fall. You Just have to. Hurry, come on. You gotta be brave, little girl. There you go. Oh shit. Go. I ain't facing Todd. Oh. Get off me, you fuck. There you go. Come on, girl. Let's, let's go. You okay? Okay, let's get you on the bus. And we've made it. See you later, you abusive bastard. Bye bye. And that was what I wanted right there. Poor. Holy shit, what a way to start off Detroit Become Human today. Oof. So, it looks like Alice has had enough with Todd, and we have successfully got her out safely without any harm or any damage to Alice. But it looks like Kara and Alice have a big road ahead of them. We'll have to see what happens in their future in part four. As of now... Ah, I believe this is Marcus. Yes. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? Yeah. Cocktail parties. Oh. To go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. That's not true. All they care about is how much money they're gonna make out of it. No. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. All right, all right. We'll get you a drink, man. No worries. Let's go get you a drink. Scotch, neat as usual. Oh. Absolutely. Scotch. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, you can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Attaboy. 
fuck the doctor. Figure out how old you are. Live your life to the fullest. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Oh. Uh oh. This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break in. Wow. Let's go check it out. Androids are amazing. They can call the police just from the touch of a button. Alright, let's go see who is behind this door. Is that... Is that Carl's son? Leo! It is Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Oh my god. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Oh. Just get him away from there. Get him out of here. I'll try. Look, I've already called the police. You should go now before you get yourself into more trouble. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect. Like this fucking thing. That's enough. Get out right now. What makes it so special anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't? Leave him alone. Come on, let's see what you got. Marcus, don't defend yourself. You hear me? Don't defend yourself. Okay. Put the controller down, not do nothing. Think you're a man? Act like one. Nope. Stop it. Doesn't matter too much of a pussy. Nope. Stop it, Just here to fight back, you fucking bitch. Nope. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do anything. Don't. Don't. Carry game. What are you doing? Don't let your conscience get better yourself. What are you doing? Oh, right. That's right. I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, leave him alone. No, I'm destroying He's having a heart attack. Endure it, endure it. Don't do nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. Just take it. He said, don't defend yourself, just do it. But he's having a heart attack. No, Leo! Carl, no! Or Carl. Getting the names mixed up. Carl. Oh, did he go? Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marty. No, Carl, don't go. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. No, 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 no. No. Dad. No. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. Fuck you, Leo. The end. It was the end. No, don't even. Oh. You blaming little fuck. Did Marcus? Did Marcus just get killed? Oh my god. I hope Marcus is not dead. We're going to have to continue on and hopefully in the next part he's still alive. Holy crap. Part 3 is definitely taking its toll for a lot. Now Marcus is in trouble. Let's hope this one doesn't have his Why same fate. Him? This one's
sounds very important to me, Mr. Clancy Brown. How long were you in the attic? Why don't you even try to run away? Nothing. Say something, goddammit! Nope. Fuck. I'm out of here. Damn, even the legendary Clancy Brown couldn't tackle him. We're wasting our time interrogating the machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids Fuck you. don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Exactly. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I can try questioning it. Oh. <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Ah, he's all mine, is he? Well, uh, let's see what Terry Games has to offer for this suspect. Well, he's all banged up, that's for sure. Let's get to work. Alright, why don't we analyze him first? Let's take a look at his problems. He's got burn marks on his arm. He's got a hit mark on the other arm, caused by a baseball bat. And it looks like processing LED to self-destruct. Uh-oh, he's in self-destruct mode, so we gotta be careful with him. Dried up blood from 19 days ago. Uh, okay. And we have model HK400, a housekeeper. Carlos Ortez is his name. All right, let's get to work. Made his stress level to get really high. So, I guess we'll start it off. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? Nothing. Okay. Let's put a little fear into his eyes. I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. Oh. Well, they certainly didn't feel anything about that. Alright, time to take things into drastic measures. You've refused to talk since they arrested you. If you don't cooperate, they'll do things the hard way. So you better... Exactly. There you go. You better speak now. Still nothing. Alright, try again. You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. That's uh, still nothing. Alright, if you ain't gonna talk, maybe this motherfucker should get his memory probed. Oh! No, please don't do that. There we go. What? What are they gonna do to me? What do you think they're gonna do to you? Yeah. They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. Yep. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you followed me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? 
Lay him down the hard truth. Doing my job. I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. Yep. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... <sighs> Fine. I have to choose. Twenty eight samples. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? Oh, keep her going. He was bleeding. Begging you for mercy, but you stabbed him again and again and again. Please, please leave me alone. I know you killed him. Why don't you say it? Please, please stop. Just say I killed him. Is it that hard to say? Stop it! Stop! Please, please leave me alone. All right. Everything is going to be okay. Why did I do that? Oh, I shouldn't have pressured it. Convince him. Um... you piece by piece they're going to destroy you do you understand okay then don't talk what do I care after all I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder right if you remain silent there's nothing I can do to help you they're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. Start talking. Fuck, man, you failed. I'm not getting anywhere. For God's sakes. Dom, oh, for fuck, come on. Chris, look up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. The fuck are you doing? Move it. Okay. Calm down. Don't be difficult. Don't make things hard. No. Don't touch me. Oh, Chris, you gotta move this asshole. I'm trying, but it's not moving. Please. Please you shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. Uh oh, he's getting high. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Fine. Chris, you're gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. You're gonna be like that? Fine. I ain't gonna do nothing. You're on your own then, the asshole. See what happens when you tell me to shut my fucking mouth? Oh my god, what is going on? Everybody's dying! Well, except for car anyway, but god damn, everybody's dying! This is not how I wanted part 3 to end. Seriously? Jeez. Well, I guess this is the way we're ending it. Apparently, Kara, Marcus. Oh, every, yeah, everybody. Connor, Marcus, and Kara. All having bad things happen to them. 
All right, well, I guess that's going to conclude part three for Detroit Become Human. Um, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe for more future epic gaming and CTR content from yours truly, like always. Um, yeah, man, this is going to be one heck of a playthrough. If I, if I just did everything like that, not the way I wanted to, but... Uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully... I'll have a different approach when it comes to things. Not very happy about that. But, anyways, I'm going to sign off. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I'll see you guys next time for part four for Detroit Become Human. Take care. Have a good day.